See, I promise you, in no distant time, I will make enough money and take good care of you. Hey, please now, don't go. Do you know, you are the most useless man I've ever seen in my entire life. You're so stupid that you don't even, you can't even recognize yourself anymore. Eh? You don't have one night, she, she, you don't have. And you want me to respect you as a man? Look, let me ask you, are you a man? Uh, yeah, I, I, un I understand your problem. You're very angry now. I am still the man of this house. The, the only problem is I'm waiting for just small time. In fact, there is this particular interview I want to go for. I am very sure they will give me the job. Eh, and I will take good care of you, please now. Eh, don't leave me. You call yourself the man of this house. Let me tell you, the only thing that makes you a man is those little things in between your legs. Duke, you're not a man. I don't understand. Do you want me to die poor? As beautiful as I am. Never. Never. No, please, please, keep on. Leave me alone. Are you stupid? Are you mad? See, don't you ever come close. If you try to come close to me again, I will shout. Rev! Rev! Rubbish, come now. Come. Just look after this, okay? Let me get Hello, Benny baby. Hello, my sister. How are you? It's been ages. <laughs> mm hmm. You totally forgot about your best friend. Wait, are you seriously saying two months is not too much for your best friend? This mansion has been so boring ever since my husband left for UK. Then he got a call. And just that this, this whole mansion is, is boring without him. Mm -mm. Okay, I mean, so why not go out? Go see a movie? Or probably go to the beach or something. I mean, go have fun. Yes, you're right. You know, uh, I've been thinking of traveling to Dubai to spend some time. And I would have loved to spend some time with my bestie. But my bestie is married and... Um, I'll talk to my husband, okay? I will tell him to let you come stay here with us for some time till your husband returns from the UK. Really? Then fine. Talk to him immediately. Let me start packing my stuffs. So fast? <laughs> this my bestie can't wait to give me all the juicy gist, right? Yes, so you're my best friend that I confide in. I can't wait to share all the beautiful things happening in my life with you. Mm, I can see that. Okay, you know what? I'll talk to my husband and I'll get back to you, okay? Okay, darling. I'll see you soon. All right, bye. <sighs> Benny. Can I you? Honey, you seem very happy. Oh, yes, honey, I'm happy. You remember that my friend, right? Benita. Benita, Benita, Benita. Oh, yeah. Benita, your friend, the one that married the wealthy oil and gas guy. Yes, exactly. She called me. Honey, her husband is really taking good care of her. I mean, her husband is really spoiling her. <laughs> Honey, you are also spoiling me. So quit that frown off your face. I thought you almost... Mm -mm. No. 
you are the most amazing man any woman could ask for. And I am the luckiest woman alive. Okay? So, about my friend. She said she wants to come spend some time with us since her husband is in the UK. Spend some time with us? Right here when she could join the husband in the UK. Honey, she wants to bond with her best friend. She wants to spend quality time with me. I mean, I would have gone over to her house, but I'm married. So, I can't visit her. Oh, please, let her just come spend time with us. Please. Please, honey. Alright, fine. It's all good. Really? Yeah, she can come over. Oh, you're the best. Come here. The, the food. Oh, oh, that's true. I'll call her right now and you know what? had the good news. She'll be so excited. <laughs> Woo! Let her in. Honey, your friend is here. Good day. Good day. Hi, the reason behind my Ella smile. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you. Oh, by the way, I'm so sorry I missed your wedding. I was at Paris at that time, and by the time I got back into the country, I spent barely two days. I had to fly back to Istanbul, then to Valencia. I have really no time for myself. I'm so sorry. Oh, nice. It's fine. Nice meeting you. It's my pleasure, actually. Yeah. Who do we have here? <laughs> Good to see you. Yeah, you just turn around, turn around. Ah, I missed you. Girl, I missed you too. You look good. You look amazing. Thank you. <laughs> Alright, I have to leave you guys now. I need to hit the gym. All right, honey, right. that's fine. Yeah. Mm. Bye. 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 You're going to come to fast. alone with that. Your wife is already growing fat. Yeah, she needs to attend to her bestie. And that's true. All right, come, 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 come. Uh, come, 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 come. Okay. All right. Okay. And what was she telling me about her toes with her man? How I'm hitting the gym without my wife that is growing fat. Just hope I can cope with a talker to you. There you go. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Honestly, I am so happy to have you here. I hope Thank it you. wasn't difficult locating this place. I am not really difficult. I had to book a ride to bring me here. You had to book a ride? Mm -hmm. From Potako to this place? Yes. That must have cost the fortune. Not really. It was just 85k. Eh? Yes. Just 85k. I prefer it to the risk of stressing my G wagon in a bad room. Please. Mm -mm. Wait, wait. Did you say G Wagon? Of course. You now drive G Wagon. Yes, I do. <laughs> Baby, you not tell me say you don't buy G Gado. My bad. It's no big deal, babes. <laughs> it's just a birthday gift from Hobby to me. You know how I like my things, low key. I don't even get to post it online because I don't <laughs> want that. God went stuff from people. Girl, you would have posted it. Uh, no. Do you know what you are going is? Mm -mm. I know for sure. Girl! Mm -mm. Ah, I'm so happy for you! Thank you. She was God! Oh, congratulations! Thank you. Thank you. Well, <laughs> it's 
stop You're making welcome. me blush. Just say Jiwagon. It's not a big deal. It's a she... big deal. It's How? a big deal. <laughs> Anyway, you're welcome to my house. Thank you. And your house is not looking bad. Thank you. You're welcome. Well, we may not be able to afford the luxury you deserve, mm -hmm. but we will try our best to make sure you're happy. My best friend. And to make sure your stay in this house is sweet and enjoyable. Mm -hmm. Thank you. My bestie, anything you offer me is luxury. Mm -hmm. Aren't you the sweetest? I know, right? Many baby. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so guys, okay, I am live with my best friend. Yeah, my name is Benita. Benita, <laughs> Benita baby. <laughs> yes, she abandoned me for two months actually. I'm so But she's finally here yeah. and I am super excited. I can see you too. <laughs> mm. So guys, if you have questions, so you know. I'm beautiful. Look at me. Oh really? Is she more pretty than I am? Stop being jealous. <laughs> they said no. <laughs> they said no. Hey, are you sure? Let me see. Uh, just look at look at the comments. As you said, both of us are beautiful. Oh, okay, guys. Let's do this later. Okay. Say bye. Bye. Bye, Katja. Bye, guys. Bye. Later. <laughs> my baby just got back from the gym. We taught you. Anyways, it's none of my business. Oh, Benita, I choose not to walk out, so it's fine. Baby! Hi, guys! <laughs> okay. mm. Mm. You you? look tired. Yeah, I'm so tired. I guess the workout was intense. Yeah, it was. And I hope you guys are having fun. <laughs> I hope so. I mean, I just got here. Well, we're having lots of fun. I'm having so much fun with her. <laughs> All right. Babe, can you please help me blend this? I'm so tired. Okay. Why not just go in and freshen up while I fix this? All right. I'll be inside. All right, honey. I hope you don't mind following me to the kitchen to make this. As long as you're not turning on the gas cook, fine. Benita, it's just the blender. I don't cook in my house. Whatever, let's go. Bye, time. <laughs> Worried. Worried? Oh, never mind. Benita, worried about what? What should I be worried about? Your husband, of course. My husband. Why should I be worried about my husband? Him visiting the gym without his wife. <laughs> I will sure not let my husband try such thing. Never. Why not? With the number of sexy girls in the gym wearing skimpy stalls with the aim of snatching another woman's man, vultures everywhere. Mm. Hmm. I won't take that risk if I were you. Well, I trust my husband. Mm -hmm. He's not cheap. I trust my man. <laughs> oh God, Ella, she will not kill me. What did you just say? You trust your man? Yes. <laughs> Ella, if you know the damage trust has done to people, you will wise up. Men that can stay in your white. Babe, wise up. Sonny. You're welcome. So how was gym today? Cool. The instructor was prescient and cool fellow. I see. Yeah. Male or female? Male or female. How do you mean? Your instructor. 
male or female? And how many girls use the same gym as you? Honey, are you being serious right now? Mm-hmm. I would like to join you for workout tomorrow. You would like to join... Uh, honey, what is going on in your head? You are going on. After all, there are lots of girls at the gym for you to attract. I will join you for workout tomorrow. <laughs> Hard-working Fred. I hope you enjoyed this movie. Yeah, I did. Um, where is Ella? And um, is she still complaining about you not going to the gym with her? I guess she's in the room. Wait, hold on. She complained to you? Yes, yeah, so I'm bitterly too. She was saying something like you cheating on her with some girls in the gym in the name of exercise. Shall I talk to her because she hardly trusts though? Oh. Alright. Thank you for your concern. I will meet her. Okay. Do you, do you seriously think I could betray you with some strange woman in the name of Jane? But you've never asked me to join you at the gym. Come on, honey. We are trying to make baby. And you told me the early weeks of pregnancy could be dangerous if it's not well managed. But I'm not pregnant yet. But you told me it can happen at any time. Well, I thought wrong. Look. I just want to join you at the gym. Is that what you want? Yes. And I hope this has nothing to do with you suspecting me to have something with other girls. No. I mean, unless you're doing something. You know, you've not doubted me before, so I'm kind of... You I know, am, I'm surprised. I am it's not strange doubting to me. you. I am not. I just want to join you at the gym, that's all. Okay, fine. Tomorrow we hit the gym. Don't complain to me. <laughs> complain about what? Oh, I am ready. <laughs> Benita, good morning, guys. I mean, it's still very early. Mm -hmm. I know. I miss my husband's cuddling, but it's fine. Oh, I understand. So we're going jogging. Do you want to join us? Um, I would have loved to, but I think I prefer I jog through the estate than going to the gym. Okay. Honey, please, can we jog through the estate so she can tag along? Please. I hope he's not going to cancel my subsequent workout. Nope. I promise. It's not. All right. Let's go. So, get dressed, okay? And let's go. Outside. Let's go. Okay. Let's go. We're outside, okay? okay. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. Okay.
Daniel is such a darling. Hey. Do you know he booked a whole cinema hall for me? Eh? Yeah. Not just a cinema hall around. In faraway Dubai. Jesus. Yes. After then, he took me shopping and told me to choose any member of my family that he would want to sponsor in any area of interest. Eh? Yes. Wait. Are you telling me that your husband is the one sponsoring your brother, DK, abroad? Mm-hmm. Didn't I tell you? He spent much more than 10 million naira to open a hair salon for DK in London. Jesus. My sister, there are levels to some things. Huh. Now, everybody in my family adores my husband as if he's their god. Wow. And that alone is a big flex for me. Benny, Benny. Mm. Ah. Say my name. Look, I am so happy for you. Thank you. I am really happy. Look, your husband is really taking good care of you. I know, mm. right? I envy you. I envy you. <laughs> I envy you. Forget. Hey, <laughs> you don't have to envy me. Oh. <laughs> Because it's obvious you're enjoying the, 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 the less you, you settled for. Mm. Uh, mm. What do you mean by that? Huh. Not you know. I don't want to cross my boundaries. Uh, what do you mean by I don't want to cross your boundaries? Penita, mm. you and I are friends. And you should be able to tell me the truth, right? So what do you mean by that? Listen, darling. You should start by telling yourself the truth. Frederick is below your standard, can't you see? You cook for him, you wash for him, you sex him. At the end of the day, he goes out there to cheat on you in the name of exercise. Who does that? <coughs> no, no, Benita, no. I won't take it. That's so harsh for my husband. Sorry. How would you say a thing like that about my husband? The more reason I don't want to talk at first. Better, better. Mm. Thank you. Mm. I want to eat noodles. Also pays the more for okay. God when. God when.
Oh, I can perceive it. Some shots feel already. <laughs> wow. Mm. You trust your wife, huh? Yeah, I trust my wife. She's a great cook. <laughs> Look at how happy I am because I want to eat your food. <laughs> Let me get you one. Huh? All right. <clears throat> Yeah. <clears throat> what about your friend? Is she not eating? Well, she has been on a long call with her husband. Honey, that man is really trying for my friend. Mm. Mm -hmm. It seems she's very happy today. Very happy, oh. Very, very happy. I envy her. Well, that's the gist for another day. That's by the way. Let me feed my hungry stomach. Enjoy your meal. Thank you. <laughs> oh. Honey, what is this? What's that? But I told you I'm famished. And that was why I made you food. Oh, shit. This. <sighs> Wait, what's wrong now? Honey, what's wrong? Oh shit. Uh, what, honey, I I added I added a little salt. You added this. what? I added a little salt. It's too salty. It was just a little salt. Hey, and oh, I tested it when you, I And you just tested it again. Going close to the Good kitchen. Luck. Cheers. Um, Good the luck. The bag you talked about is a bit dull. Good luck. Okay, let me call you back on it. Ella. Good luck. Ella. What is it? Why are you calling good luck by this time? I mistakenly added more salt to the soup. Um, if it's about me, it's fine. I'll feast myself something to eat. My husband is angry. And he's hungry. He didn't find the taste of the food funny. I, I don't know what to do. I tried making noodles for him, but I realized that there's no noodles in the house. So I want good luck to go get me some. Are you kidding me right now? Listen, if that man truly loves you, you should at least manage what you made for tonight. Ella, you made an honest mistake. She amazes me sometimes. How on earth did you allow this man bleed you to this level? How? I don't understand what you're saying. Ella, where is understanding when he cannot at least manage what you made for tonight to relieve you the stress of cooking again okay. before smashing your heart tonight? Because I know he's obviously coming to that. Oh, he's hungry. And it's the duty of a good wife to ensure that her husband is well fed. And he's your husband. You're not his slave. You're his wife. If you can't make the food, then fine, you should manage what you made. Not to the extent of you calling your gate man by this time to go look for noodles for him. It doesn't make sense. Listen, you're his wife, not his slave. The earlier you understand this, the better for you. You're not a slave, Ella. Come on. Baby you're girl. You right. should understand. You should. I should. Did you just raise your voice at me because I added more salt to the soup? Well, I know I shouldn't, but the truth is... Well, the truth is that you're ungrateful and wicked. Just this one mistake that I made. You didn't even deem it necessary to make an excuse for me. Rather, you lash out on me as if I'm your slave. Honey, that's not what I mean. Then how else do you want to explain to me what you meant? Hmm? I think it's time I started standing up for myself in this misery called marriage. What did you just call our union? 
misery. That is what it's called. Because having a man who cannot defend your weak cooking is worse than misery. Rubbish. Very annoying. Rubbish. What happened? I heard the shouting at your husband. What is it? Well, he needs to hear the bitter truth. What just happened? Did she just call our marriage misery? Benita, what have I not done? What have I not done to make this man happy? Eh? Just this one mistake, one mistake that I made, I will not rest. What is it? It's alright, it's okay. Some men are just scum. They are just scum. Eh, eh, eh. You should not have shouted at your husband like that. Hmm. Well, it was necessary. It was necessary, Benita. Fedro could have at least managed the food. He could have managed it. He was hungry. And you know the saying, a hungry man is an angry man. He was hungry. I'm sorry, I have to take this call. Hello, darling. Yes, I'm all right. I'm good. Just look at the way Daniel takes care of his wife. Just look at the way he pampers her. Eh? He doesn't even allow her to go close to the, to the cooker, let alone cook. But after wasting all my energy cooking, this man will not even let me have peace. I'm sorry. I I think I overreacted. Yes, you overreacted. Not tonight. Not tonight. I'm not in that mood. I thought we've settled this. Yes, we've settled. But I'm not in the mood for sex. Honey, now refer our lovemaking to sex. Because that's what it is. It is not anything close to lovemaking. Because it has to be love-oriented. Not just with the aim of making babies. Honey. Babe. Fred, you heard me. You heard me and I am serious about it. I deserve better. I deserve better than just serving you in bed. Because all you do is to eat my food and feast on my body, that's all. You don't even care about the things that I truly want. But I provide your basic needs. What about my basic wants? What about it? Uh -uh. Look, if you don't want me to sleep in this room, I will go to the living room. No. You know I can uh, do no, that. No, no, it's okay, fine. Just, just sleep. Leave me alone.
Duke. I've told you to stop calling me on the phone. Please. Any man that cannot take care of his supposed woman is less of a man. Yes, I said what I said. I am not going to tell you where I am until you make money. Go and make money like every other guys out there. Go and make money, Duke. For your information, I'm going to get myself a man that knows what it means to take care of a woman, to treat a woman right. Thank you. Rubbish. Holly? And I'm ready for work. Bye bye. Bye bye? I said I'm ready to go to work. Uh huh. Frederick, what is it? So what do you want me to do? Do I have the keys to your office? So why are you involving me with work? Honey, what is going on? You're gradually changing into something else. Guess this is more than scolding you for adding too much salt to the food you served oh, me. Oh, what is it now? This man, what is it? I thought it's only women that nag. I never knew that I got married to a nagging man. Why are you, why are you tormenting me? You won't let me sleep at night. This early morning, you're waking me up for a fight, right? Oh God, I'm beginning to lose it. The energy you... What channel your energy to manning up your responsibility to take care of your wife, just like Benita's husband? Is this really about your first marital status? Just let me be. I should let you be. Go to work, go to work. Setting the breakfast for you. What is the problem? You're wearing a long face. My wife feels I don't take care of her like your husband do to you. What? Are you being serious right now? Oh my goodness, I have to leave for Dubai immediately. Why would Ella think in that direction? Me that like low-key life? I don't even discuss what my husband do for me to people. I just have to come spend some time with my best friend and she did this. No, I have to leave for Dubai. Please don't go. I need you to be around and talk her out from the direction she's going. I want you to make her understand that I can do anything that will make her happy. That I can attest to. <sighs> because of you, I'll stay. Thank you. You're welcome. So breakfast. I have to leave now. I'm already late for work. My bestie for life. The one superwoman I am proud of. Well done. Hmm. <laughs> What's going on? Why are you hailing me like this? You are gradually assuming the position I want for you in your marriage. Really? Fred came to me and was asking me what and what could make a woman happy that he needs to get them for you as soon as possible. Then I realized you've given him the hot coat last night. Hot coat? Yes. What does that mean? The zip up coat, of course. Men will go to any length to retain the glory of visiting their woman's sanctuary at will. Uh, wait, wait. So you're saying it worked? Obviously. It did? Mm-hmm. 
see, babe, if I have to be honest with you, Fred is low-key rich. Yes. But I... I know his income rate. I know what he earns. Come on, don't be naive. He lets you know what he wants you to know. Really? Yes. My husband was like that at some point. But when the feminists in me came out, everything changed for the better. I turned priority. Now I am enjoying life on my terms. And he still loves me. Silly. Benita, look. I also want to enjoy life. I also want my husband to spoil me silly. But at the same time, I still want to be a good wife to Fred. You've always been a good wife, says. Just live a good life as well. It's simple. Good wife and a good life. Thank you. Did you let her speak to my wife? Yes, I did. But she almost got me pissed by saying you've never taken her on vacation outside Nigeria before. And that hurt her. But she's better now. I don't know. She should have told me about it. Well, I intend to speak to her after making dinner for everyone. Good idea. But I hope it works. Ideally, women cook for their husbands. Not the other way around. Except... The man is weak. If cooking will make her understand I don't see her slave, then it's nothing. I'll be doing the cooking myself. It doesn't think anything. Such a sweet man. But the truth is, the Ella I know does not need this soft part of you to gain her brains in check. Good luck. An impression needs to be clear. Hi, honey. Your husband is home. You're welcome. Come on, honey. I know you're still angry about what happened in the morning. But believe me, I don't see you as a slave. We need a help. Help what? Yes, a house help. Because I can't continue doing the chores in this house. I want to live better. Honey, please. I'm hungry right now. I need to visit the kitchen. We can continue this conversation later, all right? There's no point visiting the kitchen because I didn't cook. Oh, don't worry. Once the food is ready, I'll call you to come and eat. <laughs> wait, wait. I hope you don't want to ask my friend to cook for you. Far from that. I'll be the one cooking from now on. So when the food is ready, I'll serve you. Hmm. This starving him plan will not work home. Sir Frederick is in charge. Yes. And I promise to make you enjoy every bit of it. Mm. Yeah. So, can I at least assist you with something? Nah. Just tell your friend to wait for you at the dining. I will soon serve the food. Mm. Okay. And um, I hope this is not too stressful for you. Ah, nah. It's not. Babe. You can sit back and watch, or better still, go to the room and watch TV program while I mm -mm, prepare it. Mm -mm, no, I'll rather stay here and watch you. <laughs> <clears throat> I guess you are no longer my slave. Yes, because the last time we spent together here, 
I was the one doing the cooking. <laughs> so let me just stay and watch you do your thing. that my own friend is engaged. How from just check it? You just have to take it easy. Thank you. Your hair. Yes. Huh? Yeah. Oh, so, you enjoyed the food, right? <laughs> you know, I never knew bread is still this good in cooking. <laughs> like, the meal was so, so delicious. Smart Fred, you mean? Yes, I mean, he's smart. He sure knows how to win his woman over. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, him cooking and doing the dishes, that's a very good way to apologize. He got you exactly where he wants. Listen. How do you mean? When men can't get in between the ties of their side chicks, they rush home to get satisfied by their steaming wives. Penita, mm -hmm. how can you even think of such? If he doesn't demand for sex for this niceness, then he meant to apologize for real. Wait, are you saying he's being nice so I can give in tonight? If only the Konji can wait till tonight. If you like, no wise up. Thanks for the food. It was nice, actually. I'm happy your friend liked it. At least peace will reign in the house. I'm so happy too. At least my stay here would be conducive. Yeah, and I don't want to ever have issues with my wife again. Exactly where you have to hurry to the room and make a sweet love to her. It serves as a seal to your pleas and also an assurance that you miss her badly. You know these things now. Hmm? Benita, you're right. Exactly. All right, let me quickly do the dishes then. I will go and meet her. Thank you for everything. You're welcome. I owe you one. Sure. Make sure you do. Sure, I will. I'm sorry for everything. I'm really sorry. Just give me a chance to show you how much sorry I am. Did you cook for me to satisfy your selfish interest? And what does that mean? Oh, so you think I don't know? You think I don't know that you cooked for me to satisfy your insatiable libido? And how dare you take my kindness for granted? But it's the truth. It's the truth, Frederick. 
So because your side chick was not available, so you ran down home to come and cook for me and still eat me afterwards. No wonder you were rushing your food. Will you sip it to you, ungrateful mannerless woman? After all the effort I put in making that meal. How dare you call me ungrateful? You are the one that is ungrateful. How dare you insult my intelligence? How dare you? Listen, I paid your bride price. I paid it in full. So I have every right to make love to my wife. It's not a crime, alright? Hmm. More like a sex story that you bought, right? I mean, you can't even wait for the night to be over before this. Gosh. Heaven knows I can't stand this, your madness. Out of here. What nonsense. Eh, you can go. I, I, I heard Ella shouting and abusing someone. Who was that? Who else? Rubbish. Wait. Was it you she was abusing like that? After all the stress I put in to make her happy. Chai, I'm so sorry. But I think there is something wrong somewhere. There is nothing wrong anywhere. She's just pushing me. Where are you off to? I'm going outside to get a chilled beer. I need to calm down. Chai, it's necessary. Eh? You see, marriage is for better for worse. As you marry a fair fine lady, you know there is this subconscious spirit that usually disturbs them sometimes. So we have to manage it. For me, marriage is not a do or die. This girl is gradually losing this fine man. Well, what's my own? You were right. Do you know that Frederick actually made that food to satisfy his selfish interests? How do you mean? He couldn't even wait for the food to digest though. He started hustling to make love to me. I was wondering, what's going on? Babe, why is it that men are this corny? Why? Mm -mm. The question should be, why are some average men so corny? Maybe that's why they don't grow financially. Being strategic with a woman that's free at heart. <laughs> it doesn't make sense. My dear, it's too bad. Too bad. You needed to see the way he was acting. As if he has never made love to me. You needed to see the way he was shaking. He was acting like someone who would go crazy. Hey? Hey? Ella, Dear. I hope you did not let him on. I hope you didn't allow that guy to touch you. For where? Good. Exactly why he started ranting like a loose dog. And I didn't waste time to give it to him in full dose. Good. Can you imagine what he was saying? Mm. Eh, that he paid my bread price in full. So it is his right to get satisfied anytime he wants it. So I should kill myself for him. Can you imagine? That's a big turn off. Thank God my Daniel is exceptionally respectful. Even when he virtually does everything for my family and I. Hmm. But he, he could act like this. No way. My dear, you're very lucky. Count yourself lucky. Thank you. <laughs> well, shall hold your husband tight. I don't know, I don't, I don't know what came, came, came over my husband. He just started misbehaving. <sighs> Nothing came over your husband, baby girl. If you put Fred in his place, he will come around. Trust me. Just do the things you're supposed to do and watch him change for good. <sighs> Meanwhile, cheer up. Alright? Go get dressed. Let's go out and have some fun. Views on me. Mm, now mm -hmm. you're talking. I know, now right? you're talking. <laughs>
juntos y le vendan. Good luck! Good luck! Where is my wife? She just come on her with her friend. Did they tell you where they were going off to? Now the prayer point be that they no tell me anything. I don't know where they go. And where do you think you're coming from by this time of the night? Maybe you should start by telling me where you went to. Oh, you would rather challenge me in front of your friend than to answer my simple question! Um, why are you here? Me? Why? Guess I'll just have to check into a hotel this night and leave tomorrow. Oh. I can't stand this anymore. Wait, no! You have to start doing that now. Go and pack your things and leave. Why? Why? Because you hanged out with your wife whom you angrily left in this house. Just because I wouldn't oblige to your corny attitude. Look, let me tell you something. If Benita leaves this house, then I'll leave. Is that a threat or what? No, it's a promise. It's a promise! Because all this girl, all she has done is to paint you as a better person. She only encouraged me to go have some drinks to clear my head. And now I'm coming home to this. Come on, honey, she shouldn't have allowed you to stay out by this time. It's like, can't you see the time? Mm, maybe she should have controlled the traffic. Yes, maybe she, she should have controlled the traffic. Look, if you still value this marriage as much as I do, then you wouldn't let her step out of that door. Honey, you know this is not right. You know this is wrong. You're a married woman. Can't you see the time? You're just coming back by this time of the night and you're telling her you will leave if she leaves! How dare you? What is wrong with this girl? I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. I was only angry you guys stayed out late last night knowing the situation of the house. It's fine, I understand, but I have to go. I, I wouldn't want to be caught in the web of a home that would soon break, so I have to leave. And what do you mean by that? Face it, Fred. She doesn't love you as much as you do. I practically dragged her back home. She almost fought me for not letting her sleep out. Oh. Is that why she was eager to say that if you leave, she leaves? Now you understand. Fred, Ella feels caged. Not knowing what she has is gold. And if she makes the mistake of handing her gold rough, people are eager to grab it and not let it go. If only she knew. She's just being greedy. I crave for a man that will love me and show me attention the way you do to her. Not some money mistress who only knows how to send money, but not attention. Imagine how Ella was sharing her number up and down. I had to hold her. Do you even know you're a married woman? I don't know if you understand it. She doesn't love you. She wants to be free like a bird and fly.
Please, don't go. I don't want you to go, please. For your sake, I'll stay. What? Don't get too excited. It's just a friendly gesture. Oh, God. I still don't understand you. Understand your words first. <laughs> so, you're not going? Fine. Fine. I promise. I will. Okay. Do you want some more? Please. Yes. <laughs> I can't believe you want to leave because of that girl. Well, she's not just that girl. She's a good friend. A friend who wouldn't mind a social class but associates with me. A friend who takes my happiness as a priority. Oh, I see. By taking you out to meet men, hook up, isn't it? Look at what your chicken mind is telling you. Can you see it? Why is it that men believe women cannot take themselves out and have fun? But honey, not when she... Not when you are guilty of what you're accusing me of. That's it. Well, newsflash, I have respect for myself and my integrity means the whole world to me. Unlike you, unlike you would disguise to cheat all in the name of Jimin. Ella, like you're losing it. Well, you lost it the moment you started disrespecting me. I'm out of here. Fine, go! Run away from your reality, you coward. Rubbish. Look, I am really sorry for the embarrassment. I'm truly sorry for the embarrassment. If only Frederick know how much you've spent just to have me clear my head, he won't be doing this. I almost left. And I would have joined you. What? Mm -hmm. And that would have been a terrible idea. Anyone that cares to listen will blame me. And if my husband eventually hears about it, it would cause doom in my marriage. And I wouldn't want that to happen. Benita, I understand. I understand. Just that my husband is so annoying. He's getting me angry. Oh. Where is he now? <laughs> He's gone out to be with his mistress again. You should think he has one. Uh -uh. Isn't it obvious? Please, I'm tired. I'm going to bed. See you tomorrow. Good night. Okay. Good night. Okay. If it's about Ella, please, I don't want to hear. She could behave as she likes until... It's not about Ella, babe. It's not about her. It's about us. About us? What about us? There is something I need to show you in my room. Something that will really help your situation. And what is that? Let's call it your home rescue. My home rescue. Benita, it's Ella in your room. Find out. Let's go. I should find out. I know you she's not here. Come on, I, I told you she's not here. You say that you want to show me now. Fred, 
think you need to calm down. Ask yourself this simple question. If you drop dead today, how quick will your wife move on with another wedding man? During our marriage ceremony, I swore to your death to us path so I can move on afterwards. Fred, I love you. Are you mad? I'm madly in love with you. Are you crazy? I'm crazily in love with you. Ella does not care about you, but I do. I love you. Are you sure you're all right? Yes, I am. What about the man you claim you love so much? I don't freaking care about him anymore. The only thing he does is travel up and down. He doesn't have my time. I'm tired of him. I want to be with a man that can take care of me. Show me attention. Fred, I love you. I can do anything you want me to do. Come and have me. I can see you finally lost it. I love you. Hey, you stop. Get, get off me. Are you mad? What is wrong with you? I love you. Said, stay far from me. Are you like it? Fred. just happened. This girl is the devil's younger sister indeed. I almost lost my wife. But if I don't act smart, I could lose her. Does he need a female help for? <laughs> for what? Of course. Because he's tired of going to the gym. So now he wants to bring his whore to this house. All right. That is what he wants to do. Fine. No more house help. But we're going to be doing the house chores together. That's a lie. Guys. That's a lie. I suggest the only way to sort out this issue now is to get a male help. I'm mm -hmm. not comfortable with your male help. Why? Oh, really? Oh, Benita, you see it now. You see it, right? Please. Ignore him. Do you know any agency? I mean, any agency that you can recommend? As a matter of fact, I do. Great. Not in my house. We shall see. No, we shall see. You came highly recommended. <laughs> What's the deal? I won't fail you. This one is a little bit different. She would come in as a housekeeper. <laughs> I can even come in as a madman. Just show me the target and I will seduce her with no more stress. Good. I will make an initial 50% deposit. 
and the rest as soon as you provide me the blackmailing voltage. Remember, I stay in the same house. Deal. Good. Your details, please. Okay. Who is there? Oh, it should be the housekeeper. Well, I meant Ella, you meant this. Well, I don't have any problem, mm -hmm. so long as the house is neat. Well, he has to do his job right. to get paid. Fine. Um, so I hope your boss told you everything you need to know. Yes, ma'am. Okay. So do not get on my husband's nerves, and also do not get on mine. Else, no pay for you. No problem, ma'am. All right, having said that, your room is the first door by the left. So you rest for 30 minutes and you start work immediately. Okay, ma'am. Yeah, he's here now. Thank you so much. Thank you. Properly dressed in the kitchen. Sorry, ma. I just don't like being in the kitchen with my clothes on due to the heat here. Well, I don't like it one bit. I don't like this. I'm sorry, ma. It's not my intention to make a beautiful boss like you angry. Let us say I do not appreciate the fact that you call me beautiful. Is it possible we maintain a high level of professionalism here? At your service, boss. Go get dressed. I'll handle it. Okay. I told you I'm going to pay you next week. Just give me time. Why are you bugging my phone just because of small money I borrowed from you? I'm sorry if I'm shouting. I'll pay you back. Just allow me to do my thing. You know, let me do my thing. How dare you budge on me like that? Are you alright? You didn't tell me that woman is so principled and annoying. Is that why you're half naked? Why are you dressed like this? Half naked in someone's house? Are you alright? You didn't tell me that woman is too principled and annoying. Are you just daft or you're just being stupid? Who on earth would want to hire the best predator in this world if the prey is easy? Who? But wait, why in heaven's name do you want to break this beautiful family? Her husband is cute. Why hire me to sleep with her so that her husband will catch me? Come on. Is this really how professional you can be? Barge into my room, asking irrelevant questions. What is wrong with you? Okay, okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Forgive me. It won't happen again. I remember my job comes first. Good. Go and look for a singlet and put on. Look for something to do. Or better still, go out there and wash for a car. While I go and smoothen the runs for you. Wow. I will really appreciate that. Thanks very much. You're welcome. But just pray it doesn't reduce your balance. Come on. I'll do my best, trust me. Trust me on this one. You don't have anything to worry. Eh? Let me tell you something. God answers my prayer. He doesn't fail me. You can get much more than just a kiss. He's smashing hot sets on the bat. That is. Ooh, that is a murabosti. Go! <laughs> Go and put on a singlet. Go! Mura. Hi. Mura. Oh. Go! Let's something else. What? Where the hell did I get this boy from? Thank God I don't have to go to school. Babe? 
What is the point of having him in this house? Since all he does is to float his body all over the house, rather than concentrate on his job. Maybe you understand his goodness and decides to flaunt it. Well, not in front of a married woman. If he wants to flaunt his body, then he should go to the streets and flaunt his body for those small girls on the streets. Then if those small girls can flaunt their body in front of married men and they follow up, why can't some married women like you follow up sometimes? Maybe I'm different. If Daniel cheats on me, or treats me close to how Frederick treats you, I must have a boy that will service me. I know if he shouts. Benita. My name. What happens to decency and integrity? What happens to that? Hmm. In this 21st century, babe, better follow up that guy to grease your engine before you rust. Bro, you don't spoil though. I know. You don't spoil finish. I know. Please tell me, where did I meet you again? I'm your friend. You can't run away from me. Don't spoil. Mm -hmm. I know. See, my sister, I'm just trying to help you. Eh? Help this is your engineer. You need to, to be servicing it though. It's very, very important. So I don't want your help. Thank you. Eh? Are you sure? Your help. Yes. Nixon! Nixon! Yes, ma'am. Come here. What are you doing? I want to quickly clean the car. That's how I'm fetching water. When we are not done cooking. Huh? And what's that smile about? Sorry, madam. You're so beautiful. More like you fell from heaven. I'm sorry. I know you want me not to compliment you. But I can't help it. Thanks. But no thanks. Clean up and go and dish the food. You know what? I'll do it myself. Food is ready. I will serve you if you're ready to eat. Prepared by whom? Prepared by me. Maybe for the last time. Where is Benita? I hope you do not want to embarrass her for bringing in that boy. Oh, not at all. I need to apologize to you both for everything, especially you. I heard my name. Please sit. Honey, okay. please can you sit down? Honey, I'm sorry for everything. I love you beyond words. But this devil here wants to spoil everything I've labeled for. Cedric! She wants to destroy everything. She'll be started again. You started again! This man, what's your problem? What's your problem with her? Eh? Tell me! You said I should meet you if I want to be saved from Benita. Benita was my wife. She actually dumped me when she realized I couldn't maintain her luxurious lifestyle. What? She dumped you? And she's about destroying your home. As a matter of fact, she's succeeding because your wife trusts her. So, what am I going to do now? It's very simple. Work with your new house help. Benita actually hired him to seduce your wife and make you catch them in bed. That's how evil she can be. So it's been you. It's been you all along. So sorry. I'm so sorry. I am so so sorry. I, I never knew she was behind all of this. I never knew. Honey, please, I'm sorry. Forgive your wife. I'm so sorry. Honey, that's please, not I'm all. Sorry. Bring him in. Oh my God. So it's true. What's going on here? Huh? Wait, so it's true. Listen. <laughs> So, this is the reason you left your matrimonial home. To destroy someone else's beautiful home. You are wicked. I regret paying your bride price. Wait, Benita, is this the husband you, you've been telling me is in the UK? Uh-uh. Eh? Listen, have I been to the airport before? Is it the one that you told me you've been traveling around the whole world with? Is it the one? 
Hey. Wait, sorry, sir. Uh, did you rent a cinema, uh, a whole cinema for her on her birthday in Dubai? Do I look like somebody that can rent cinema hall for somebody? I have not been to a cinema before. Benita! Liar. Ah! Oh, Jesus Christ. Benita, why? Oh, why? Why do you want to destroy me? Why did you want to destroy my home? What did I do to you, Benita? Why? After everything, Benita, you are my best friend. Why do you want to do this? Why? After everything. What? There is no why? point. No, no point. Are you this wicked? No point. Oh, Jesus. I'm sorry. Hello, hello, okay? You are following me to this part to collect my bad price back. You are following me tomorrow morning, please. Ah, I'm sorry. I'm... And Mr. you, you, so you wanted to seduce a married woman, right? No, hmm? no honey. Nixon here is the hero. Ah, what's up now? Hey, you sounded urgent. And why are you standing here alone? <laughs> you can't believe what my eyes saw today. What did your eyes see now? I was busy when you called. Check this picture out. Ah, ah. Benita. This is the Benita that dumped me now. Don't you know her? This is Benita now. Me too. We don't know how drives. And it looks like a Jeep cow. Looks like Lexus. <laughs> I guess that is her target car. I you know what? She hired me to seduce her friend so that her husband can catch us. How evil can you be, Benita? You know what, Nixon? Take the job. What? Sir, thank, thank you very much. I have to be on my way. You! You! Hey, young man. You have to come to my office tomorrow. I have something for you. Yeah. You have something for me? Yeah. Th thank you very much, sir. Sorry. Thank you very much. <laughs> Madam, thank you. Okay. <laughs> my man, thanks. Thanks. <laughs> Don't follow me that close to my house. You have my to. No, 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 no. You have to go with your wife. No, 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 no. Go I'm off my life. No, who is going to go with your wife? Get out! Get out! Just go! Get out! 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 Get